Less than 10.6, multiplying and dividing rationals is level 1 and 2. Directions say to perform the following operation, express in simplest form. So we know that when we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. But um, what we want to do, that would save us a lot of time, instead of having to foil this times this and this times this and then factor, we're actually going to factor first and then see what can simplify. So x minus 6 is obviously going to stay, and so is 5x. But this x squared minus 49 is a difference of squares. That would be x plus 7 times x minus 7. In the denominator, there's a basic trinomial I need to factor. So they both start with x times x. I need to multiply to make negative 42 and add to get 1. So then I'm thinking, okay, positive times a negative. So I'm subtracting the numbers. They need to be one digit apart or consecutive which would be seven minus six makes one, seven times negative six makes negative 42. And then I can divide any common factors, but I don't see anything, oh, yes I do. X minus six can cancel with this X minus six. So as long as something's on top and something's on bottom, they can divide away. So my final answer would be X minus seven divided by five X. All right, number two, be aware it's division. I'm going to factor while I'm flipping this second fraction and changing to multiplication. So this would be a difference of squares. x plus 2 times x minus 2. On the bottom I can take out a 5. I'd have times x plus 6 multiplication. So this bottom will be really become my top part. Take out a 3. That'd be times an x plus 9. On the bottom is a basic trinomial. Uh, multiply to make 18. Oh, 9 and 2. Duh. That took me way too long. I was thinking 6 and 3. Never mind. 9 and 2. Okay, and then I can cancel x plus 9s. I can cancel x plus 2s. Uh, always check your numbers too. The 3 and the 5. No. So that should be my answer. 3 times x minus 2 over 5 times x plus 6. Now I can't remember if it's on this one that it doesn't want parentheses. I don't know, sorry. So you might have to distribute the 3 and have that be 3x minus 6 over 5x plus 30. Because normally I would be okay with either answer. I don't remember if they take both or not. All right, and then number three is not harder, it just is more factoring involved. So on the top, the first numerator, I know I can divide out a five, and then I can also factor out an x squared. So that would leave me with an x squared minus 100. And that's gonna have to be factored again here in a minute. On the bottom, I can take out a 15. I know 4 times 15 is 60, so 15 times 5 would be 75. Okay, and then I have a basic trinomial. Multiplies to make 30, that adds to make 11 would be 6 and 5. And then on the denominator, notice how they all have x's. I want to take out the smallest amount. It would be x cubed, and I would be left with, now subtract that 3 from each power, so that would be an x squared plus 16x plus 60. No more x's. Okay, so now I need to factor again. This is a difference of squares. Be x plus 10 times x minus 10 over 15 times x plus 5. And then this would be basic trinomial. Two numbers multiply to make 60 that add to make 16. That's pretty obvious, 10 and six. Okay, and so now I'm ready to cancel. X plus 10s are gone. X plus fives are gone. X plus sixes are gone. Okay, I'm gonna have, like write out what I have left before I cross too many things off because it gets kind of hard to read what's left over. Okay, so I have this, 
This 5x squared is called a monomial. We can simplify this. 5 fifteenths would be a third, and then take out an x squared. So you have x minus 10 over a 3x.